Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video, well, we are taking a look at semiconductors that is starting off with NVIDIA, then AMD, SMCI, ARM, Broadcom and Micron. We already have Tesla's earnings numbers and the price action as well. I want to really quickly show you that I'll be doing a separate video later today because I want to have their earning calls happen and everything. But look at this beautiful price action on Tesla, guys. It blew up the short sellers. They're decimated. Kaboom. $231 beautiful price action on Tesla post earnings. As I said, I'll talk about it later. That's why NVIDIA video will be co is coming out first because Tesla will video later will be taking today the place of NVIDIA's slot when I usually you know, do NVIDIA's video, that's when Tesla video will be coming out today. So let's come back to NVIDIA. Let's talk about that. So let's start off with the daily interval. And guys, none of this is any financial advice, only for education purposes, just sharing my opinion. Please go your, please go and do your thing. Okay. All right. So overall structure though on NVIDIA is still bullish though. All right. Nothing has really changed in that regards. What do I mean by that? Nothing has changed in that regards. Well, because nothing has really changed. Why so? Well, because we are still in the higher lows and higher highs direction. All right. Nothing on that perspective has changed on NVIDIA here. Yes, we have a cool off. I get that. We do have a cool off here, but this is just a cool off though. Okay. It's not that we are now just collapsing losing the level of 140 dollars and let's go to the hourly interval actually losing the level of 140 dollars definitely what uh, created this next leg down all right that was a level that definitely we didn't want to lose but intraday once we lost it it was a downside play continuation we got to the next zones like around 137 area just above 200 hours moving average is rebounding after that However, you will have to take this just as a rebound so far. For tomorrow, the level you are watching is $140.76. If NVIDIA can strengthfully get above it tomorrow, let's say when the market is about to open or is open, this becomes then a support level and potentially you can see upside again from here on. However, if we continue to reject here, we may see another leg down. However, watch this level 137 or 138 area again for a potential double bottom because 200 hours moving average is coming in and there's a likelihood we might see a bounce here again so keep that in mind technically overall nvidia is still bullish i would still not look to short it on the swing side like in sure you can you know if you have my tools you have these levels you know what to do now uh, definitely if um, like even if we have to become bearish to the downside, well, NVIDIA has to do lose a lot of things, right? Like it has to lose, um, like because we are still directionally to the upside, NVIDIA will has to first form distribution phase. It has to lose 20 days moving average. It has to lose some price action, key area, significant levels, at least 136. Why just losing 140 is not enough? Because it's not making it lose any significant pivots yet. It's still technically, it's it's a good pivot. It's still holding higher pivots. Once we start to lose 136 after consolidation and losing 20 days moving average, that's where I would say, okay, okay, more weakness is coming. Otherwise, no, it's just still an uptrend. Intraday weakness came, yes. We were prepared for that, not just losing this $140 level, but also yesterday I talked about if we lose 142 and 62 cents, intraday first leg can come down to 140. We got that, and then after that, just next level down, right? Level by level. You can see level by level, right? So yes, just keep that in mind. Tomorrow's level to watch is 140. I already went over the scenarios and or double bottom. If it does a pullback, you can still watch for a rebound tomorrow. Um, yeah, so keep those areas in mind. Can you short it? Well, technically, if it continues to reject at like $140 area, Yes, in near term short can also happen. And that's why I'm providing you these zones like until where that short can continue confidently and where you should look for if it starts to find rebound because we still have this 200 hours moving average coming in from underneath, right? So you have to see all these things. Um, yeah, and then uh, definitely I wanna see another pivot, but 
you know that pivot if it forms it will be just around 140 dollars with 20 and 50 hours moving average that's why i'm saying that watch that level and uh, above that it's fine below that as i said will be a problem in near term and then you're potentially seeing if it forms a double bottom with the 200 hours moving average all right from the fear of going into this uh, you know repetitiveness <laughs> let's just move on because i think i explained everything that i wanted to all right so that's nvidia um let's go to amd so amd trying to give us some bounce but overall structure on amd is still negative all right nothing has really changed on this we still are in lower highs right so if amd tomorrow can close above 154 and 90 cents area without further breaking below there is some strong upside that can start to happen otherwise no and that's all what i want to leave it at with that level otherwise it's still in the down trending structure we don't need this trend line anymore let's get rid of that and then um yeah definitely uh yeah that's pretty much the level as i said yeah 154 and 94 cents area that zone um otherwise until then there's this leg up 153 and 31 cents to 154 and 96 cents that rebound can still continue if it breaks above 154 and 36 cents the way the price action is looking like right now to me um just looking at how the buying has come here if amd doesn't go up tomorrow it has a room to go sideways rather than just continue to crash below 151 i think 151 might hold itself tomorrow just looking at the price action but we'll see technically overall direction is still to the downside smci SMCI, um, yeah, it's technically in the downtrend again, guys. It broke the level as I showed you in the morning as well. You know, yesterday it broke the level, the structure, and today we are also, you know, going down. Um, it's not going to be full on bullish momentum again unless it gets above forty six and ninety cents area this particular level. So, yeah, until then it's unfortunately still weak yeah it couldn't get above 50 dollars and that's where the problem is let's go to the hourly interval as well and on smci yeah we are below 200 hours moving average you broke that yesterday um for near term intraday upside some rebound more is possible if we get above you know 46 and 10 cents then you are watching 46 and 95 cents level and then beyond that overall we might start to become upside again but otherwise no no it's in a troubling state right now arm as i talked about in the morning as well this thing has broken its leg and easy day and swing trading tool it's a it's just not a cool off actually guys look there's a difference between these previous modes yes even though they were cool offs and sell offs but they were still in the directional upside right and i'm on active mode of my tool and this one the problem with that is that it also lost this moving trend line and we have not just changed the structure red but we have lost the directional move and we are below 20 days moving average as well so that's where the problem is with arm and it's clear and apparent if i take it to the hourly interval and here we have the uh, we are below the trend line here as well so that's where the another problem is that we are constantly rejecting underneath that so well sorry not that that's the another trend line but the one up here uh, this particular one right uh, that one we rejected today as well in the morning just continue to fall arm at this point any rebound is technically just a rebound it's in the downward structure today finally it broke a lot of things so arm is in a bigger problem here unfortunately all right let's take a look at broadcom and yep with broadcom this was the level 177 dollars and 29 cents and this thing unfortunately yeah that was it we lost it we are seeing a downside right so that's pretty much i provided you below that is more weakness that can come and if i turn on my tool weakness was already telling us that it's coming in right from here and today break of this level 177 is the break Above this, as I was saying, we can still turn around the things. We should be still fine. But yes, below this, no. And above that, all, even though I talked about in my previous videos that even this is still fine above 177, but it's a signal that you should be cautious 
you need to wait for extra confirmation again to the upside otherwise take profits out but yes losing 177 now finally is the bigger problem all right that's that and let's take a look at micron and so yeah micron also lost some trend lines and yeah it it is it has lost yeah it's not looking good uh let's go to the hourly interval because that's where one of the trend lines we have been following and you can see it just couldn't get up above that trend line and unfortunately this was the zone if micron could have held these areas and get out and above of that trend line that could have started another swing leg up because overall structure until yesterday was still fine but today unfortunately it has collapsed uh so intraday weakness continued and it turned eventually on the overall structure as a weakness more weakness so that's that well so that's it for this video let's just before wrapping up let's take a look at tesla again uh 232 dollars not bad awesome loving it all right i'll be wrapping up here now we'll see what earnings calls happens on tesla um i will see price action i expect to stay right up here and then i'll talk about the technicals later today when earnings calls everything has been wrapped up by our superb elon musk right all right well guys see you in the next videos take care bye